Problem number six. How does black attack white's two stones here? Black's move is the cap. And if white pushes through, then black has this really cool move here. Uh, this is a very common shape in this uh, capping sequence. This gouges out white's base. So if white blocks, black will poke at this and then connect. And now white stones are floating in the center and so white's gonna struggle with this. If after black pokes out the base, white can also try blocking from this way. But now black is gonna push up here. And if white connects, black will continue. White can cut. Then black is just going to do this, and now black is securing this right side here. And white still owes a move to capture this, so black ends in sente. If instead of connecting white hanes, then black will cut. White can capture these stones, and black will force white to capture them. Because now black is securing the moyo up on top. In order to secure the moyo, black would need to play a move like this to capture the stone. Um, however, black may want to consider gouging out the rest of white's base by playing a move like this because now white only has one eye. If after playing here, black doesn't want to go into either one of these sequences, black can also play here and link up the stones, but this isn't as good as the other sequences. If after black caps, white doesn't poke through, but instead jumps, black should still poke out the base. And if white covers, black will go here. And then even if white attaches, black is still gouging out the base. Black can actually connect to either side with a move like here, here, this is Mei for black at this point. And so white is still without a base and black can look forward to attacking this further. Problem number seven, how does black continue attacking white's lone stone in the middle of black's territory here? Black's move is the severe cap here. And the question is what happens if white tries to escape through one of the elephant's eyes? For instance, if white pushes here, Black usually in this case has a few moves, uh, similar to the one with the base where black plays here, but since white really doesn't have the chance for base, this isn't as good. Um, black's other moves are to do one of these two knight moves. In this case, the correct answer is this one, because when black plays here, he wants white to push up into here. And that's exactly what white's going to do. When white attaches on top, black will extend. If white pushes again, black will go again. Now black is... Securing the territory here, this is a small knight from here, so that helps reinforce the corner now. White is so far not getting anything. From here, white will attach, trying to get out into the center, but black will honey to block. And if white extends, again, trying to get to the center, then black is going to push here. This is threatening the cut, and this move, combined with this stone here, gets rid of the eye here. So white needs to maintain connection, so white will play here. And then black will extend here. White is going to jump to try to get ahead, and black will just jump over here to, s to continue chasing it. Now again, white has not gotten anything yet. Black has secured the, some points in the corner, as well as on the side, and now also has influence facing the left side. So this is a very successful attack for black. If after poking through here, black extends this way, then white's just going to extend, and if black tries to follow, white's just going to continue in the center, and now white is essentially free to escape in the center. Black's corner is not as secure as it was before, because there's still 3-3 three, three here, um, and this stone is kind of lonely. So this was not a very successful attack for black. If instead of the cap, black plays the diagonal, white's going to push up, and even if black honey is on top, White is going to attach over here, and usually when an opponent attaches to you, you want to respond. So black's going to back off, which allows white to make the mouth shape here, and black to reinforce will extend. But then white can jump here, and now white is effectively in the center, and similar to before when black did the cap and then pushed here. And white got into the center, black's going to have a hard time attacking it now that it has so much board room to run to. Problem number 39 is similar to the other base attacking problems where black has made this knight's move block after white has poked through the elephant's eye. However, 39 starts when white makes this weird attachment here. How does black respond to this attachment? Black's move is to extend up here. 
And if white tries to push in the center and peep at this, then black will connect and allow white to get out. Now black is securing territory on here while white is trying to squirm and get out. Um, however, instead of extending here, white also has this honey. And for black to respond to this, black needs to honey with it and allow him to be cut. And black's key move next is to extend here rather than cut, because cutting gives white this ajing and can make some shape here, forcing black to capture. Um, however, when black extends, white has two choices and neither of which are good. If white now decides to honey, black can come back and capture this, and now white shape and eye space is less than it was before. Um, however, if white prevents this Atari and connects here, then Black will Hane here. And now this three stone group only has two liberties and so is under severe attack. Um, and also White has this three stone group, which has no base and needs to run. And then White also has this stone. So White's effectively in three groups. And with Black splitting them in half like this, White's whole position has collapsed. Something is going to die here. If instead of extending here and looking to fight, if Black tries to connect underneath, then white is going to go here and let black connect. Even if black gets this Atari and tries to poke out some of white's base, white's going to push here and then jump. And now white's in the center, can run to the side and make some shape over here. And black really only got a couple of second line points here. Like this Atari, white can take at any time. And this is, you know, three points and a few points here. So and black plays submissively like this, white is going to take advantage of it. Problem number 58. How does black attack white's two space base up on top here? Similar to the other base problems, black should cap the base, and when white jumps, black should peep, white will reinforce, and then black can push through. Now white can block, but then black will cut, and then white will Atari this, and Atari this, and keep going, and now white is escaping into the center. However, while white was struggling to just live and get into the center, black now secured his moyo on the left here. So this is a very successful attack for black. Problem number 86, how does black attack white's group of stones here up at the top? Since black has a stone right here, black's move is the placement here. And this is gouging out white's eye potential here. And if white covers on top, black will extend over here and connect here. White can honey and then black can connect. And now black is going to aim at either the peep or honeying here to gouge out the rest of white's eyes. Either way, white's still not safe and needs to do something about it. Alternatively, if white blocks the connection by going here, then black can push up and cut. Now white can capture these stones and black is going to force it, similar to before. However, look at black's moyo that he's building here. So he's doing this to get outside influence and work with his other influence here, maybe with a couple capping moves, this whole thing could be blacks. White stones are still insecure here, so white needs a move like this. If white does not play this, and you know, instead play somewhere else, the black's gonna turn here. And if white blocks, then black is gonna go here, threatening to link up and Atari these stones. So white needs to Atari this to capture the stones. However, then black's gonna throw in over here and force white to capture, otherwise, if white doesn't capture this, black will capture this and then take the corner. So white needs to capture. After white captures, black will go here. Now this group has no eyes yet, except for with the one that white can get by capturing these. So white needs to find a second eye, and white's going to do that by trying to run to the center. So white's going to push out, black will extend. White will push out again. Since black's so strong, black's going to hane. If white hane is back, then black will extend. But white has nowhere to go. White is squeezed between two black positions. White needs to come back and fix, otherwise black will just cut here. And white can't run to his group over here because of the black stones in the way. So white is going to die. And it's all because white did not play this move. This move guarantees him a second eye in the corner. So it's very, very important to secure your group if you need to. Problem number 101. Black is looking to attack white stones here. And the problem starts where black makes this diagonal move. And this looks like a really slack move because white can slide in here and, you know, potentially make some shape. So the question for black is, how does black continue attacking this group?
Black's move is to attach on the outside of the stone, and when white honeys, black will clamp with this move. Now white is going to Atari the stone, and black is going to pull back. Now you'll notice that black didn't Atari, because if white captures here, white's going to have a very easy time of making a second eye over here by simply extending here, for instance. So black is just extending and splitting white into two groups, this one right here and this one right here. If after black attaches here, instead of honeying, white bumps into the stone, black will follow and potentially start to make some territory up in here. From there, white will need to jump into the center with a move like this, and if black pushes, white can block. And it looks like white is securing some shape with this, but then when black descends here, securing territory in the corner, this move also undercuts white's base, preventing white from getting two solid eyes in here. And so white is going to cut, looking for some Aji, and hopefully use that Aji to make some shape. However, after white cuts, black will just Atari, and save the stones by a jump like this. If white uh, extends, black will extend with them. And now white is going to try and surround these stones with a move like this. But then black will just extend here, now these three stones are going to get eaten. And from there, white will have to come back and fix his shape with a move like this. This prevents this push and cut, of course. And uh, while white's doing all this, black is securing the rest of his territory with a move like this. And again, looking at what white got for squirming like this, white only really escaped in the center, hasn't really gotten any points, because black is still undercutting this, remember that. So there isn't any real points here for white. White actually lost these three stones, potentially, and black secured fourth line and even some fifth line territory. So this is a very successful attack for black.